So let me show you something. If you come here, right? If you come to here, right? The interface. I will go to sex, right? Observe. If I go to thesis and dissertation records here, right? Already I can see that the URL I need to work with. If you wanted to create a, if you wanted to create a script, the URL you'll be working with is this, right? No, it's not. We, see, we saw that it was not, right? To pay attention, it's not. You did the wrong things. So we were looking for these 4,000 records or something. But what you will notice, right, is as you are observe, right? This is simple here. These are 100 records. The moment I say, for me to see the next batch of records, this is what I do, right? This is the URL I use. So instead of the initial, look at this. The initial URL is this. The moment I want to get the next batch, this is where I go, right? If I then want to get to the following batch, if I click on more records here, I will see the, the next 100. If I further scroll down, right? And if I copy this URL, you see this? I'll, get, I'll see the 200 records. If I go here again and click more, well, I've seen the 200 records. If I click further more here, this URL will have. So, can't you create a simple script? Is this not a loop? What the hell is this? Is this not a loop? You're going to loop, loop, loop until you get to a stage where you can't get any more resumption tokens, right? So this is for the last. No, which last one? Yeah, the twenty-six records. Yeah, because what will happen? Uh, let me show you something. What will happen, right? I can, I can infer where this might go wrong, right? If we say at record number two thousand or something, something goes wrong. It's multiples of hundred, right? For me to get to two thousand, I just say okay, I'm going to go to two thousand here and check, right? I'll check two thousand. So I see that uh, 2000 gives me records quite right. The next resumption token, observe. If I click more here, I'll be able to identify 2100, maybe 2000, uh, okay, let me check again. 2200, it's okay. 2300 is fine. 2400, fine. 2500, fine. 2,600, fine, 2,700, fine, but why is the problem, 2,800, fine, 2,900, could it be that the problem starts before? Uh, so the records, we started off, um, Sorry? No, that doesn't work. Well, why would you want to do that? I'm seeing the numbers increasing, the results switched. Yeah, yeah. So, so the thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to a stage where we get that error. That's, you understand? So at some point, this fails. But I was trying to figure out at what point it fails. You understand this? So if you go to your, what is that called, validator or something? I think you did. You are you're, you're putting the wrong things and you keep claiming that we did when you are lying. Now, unfortunately, we can't prove that you are lying because we are not 
around but if we are recording what you are doing we would have easily shown to you that you are lying right not lying but uh, well, but it's a lie also uh, the you see in, uh, sorry the problem is what yeah but that was an example and i told you that <laughs> That was an example. Just so you, you decided to use the records that I downloaded, right? Which so makes zero sense. You see what's happening here. I've completed here. How many records do I have? Can you see? Do you know how to read? Seventeen. Right. So meaning that, because these are seventeen records, meaning that, what you are using this is this explains why you keep saying, "Oh, it's, 20, it's the twenty-sixth record. It's supposed to be the seventeenth record." This is where the problem manifests itself. So. What I want to do here is I want to see if we can check within here. And in fact, I'll check. In fact, we can infer, right? If the problem starts at 1.7, we know that these 1,600 records are fine. So I'll come here. I'll say 1,600, right? Observe what will happen. 1,600, fingers crossed. This is where the error happens. So what I'm saying is if you're looping, right? If your script fails at 1,600, what do you do? You skip 100 records. And it's okay, right? If your analysis is based on, instead of 4,474, it's based on 4,374, it's still fine. You'll be able to explain. In fact, these are things you explain. So when we're harvesting the records, we, one of the things that happened was we ran into this error, right? Because of malformed records, right? So how, how do you skip? It's a loop. This is a loop, it's a pattern. In fact, I, I had told you to say, if you are too lazy to write a simple script, what you can do is you can manually do this, right? You split amongst yourselves to say, if we have 4,000 records, we have batches of 100, each one of us is going to do this individually, right? And then pull them, yeah, one by one. So you see now, from one, one seven, I can do this. In fact, look at this, this is simple stuff, right? If you come here, if you wanted to pull this, if you want to do this, the the simpler way actually I, I don't understand why you people are having difficulty with this right you can do this in so many different ways it doesn't have to be a complex script right you use your because um, you're delaying this you have to quickly fix this right I don't know what this thing is dear, but Um, what you can do, right? If this is becoming a problem for you, you can you can do this manual, right? You can use w get. I'm just going to cancel this, right? What what flags do you use for w get that enable you to pull the thing to uh, here? It's minus all, right? Like that. Don't know. right you can even uh if you want to do this right this is actually s if you want if you're too lazy right to do this which i think you are um for you to pull the script yeah you are for you to pull the <laughs> you're failing to create a simple script right you're failing to 26 records you could have easily written this in java or in python or in whatever language you want right it's a simple script in this case i'm using bash right i'm using bash i'll do this don't feel offended. This is how you learn. When you should be glad that somebody is telling you that you're too lazy to do this, right? All four of you are failing to do this simple thing. What you could do is, if, if these are 100, right? You can come here and say, well, if they're 100, why can't we just do this? I'm just going to put it here, right? going to showcase a simple example here right it could be more here uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see this it could be less actually see this so what I'm saying here is, what we're saying here is you come here and then you just say, well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, pick this, right? And uh, concatenate this with what? 
with this or something, right? So that you have uh, this record here, this thing here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'd say the script is just going to be what? It's the same as what I have there, right? W get minus this, that, um, then you you put you pull you pull this but this would have to be like that and then this would be like that so that you have your your script here if you don't want to write but a script would be fun you, you're learning how to do things right but you don't want to do this you just want to right say oh it's the 26 records you even sent an email that wasn't called right no we failed to do this well if you fail then fix it right if you fail no we failed <laughs> don't understand this right excellent so what you can do then is and this only go has to go up to where for uh, up to where it only go, has to go up to somewhere around uh, maybe here, right? You can go up to 4,800. These other things here are irrelevant. You can delete this. Is that not so? This is all you have to do. And, and, and once you do this, uh, if you don't want to write a script, a script would be nice, right? But if you want to do this, what you can do from here is you say, this is going to be spooled to, um, I'm, just going to I'm just going to name this uh, dspace hunza. output file and then I'm going to name it here right and then also I'll call it dot XML or something that's here so that as you're spooling this it's going to go to an XML file, it's going to be the same files as before, right? Only this time around you have all of the files that you need, right? Like this. Then if you wish to, you could come here and then just yes, kind of. Um, what I want to do here is sometimes the, the semicolon becomes an issue. So I'll just change this to, to this for bash, right? Right, so observe. With this, I can just come here. Ooh. In fact, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, uh, I don't know if you can format this, right? How do you format this? Is it like that? I don't know. I'm forgetting how to, yeah. If you want to properly format this, you can include uh, the XML lint part, right? This part here. You can pipe it out like this. I mean, if you want to. But, uh, so I can come here. Mm -hmm. I can come here and then say that but in here I'll have space and then put XML in like that right is that not what you do and then you replace everything so that if you come here now right observe if I want to I'll just test this to see if it's going to work right with just X oh shoot without XML lint the XML lint was supposed to come after the XML lint here is supposed to come and the pipe is supposed to come after this here like this right like so so that if you come here and just check just the very first uh, this is what you want, right? So what you do is, you, what you're doing is, for all of these scripts, what you'll be doing is they're saying, in here, I'm just going to send this output here. This, that's it. In fact, you can run, you can copy everything and just paste it on your terminal. And lo and behold, now if I go to my home directory, right? In here, I'll find that file. What I'm trying to do here is to showcase to you that 
you should no, now not struggle with what you're saying, no, the 26th is record or whatever, right? You have a plan. You don't have to do what I'm doing right now. If you want, you can do this, that's fine. If you want, you can get fancy and write a script and in a methodology, you say we wrote a script because Open Refine, directly doing this in Open Refine uh, using the URL failed. So we wrote a script to download or, or validate, the way validate failed. So what did we do? Of course, it's not a methodology, you don't say it failed, right? In the methodology, you say, how did you extract the data for analysis? We implemented a script using whatever language. It could be Bash, this is Bash, right? And then afterwards, we analyze the XML files downloaded using OpenRefine, right? Afterwards, OpenRefine was used to export the file into its equivalent spreadsheet, right? Then the data was analyzed using, I don't know if it's uh, uh, Excel or Google Sheets. You don't have to say we did the pivoting or something. It's just analysis, right? 